a little bit, specifically around when the iPhone 12 Pro launched and talk about the LiDAR scanner. Now, for those of you guys that are not sure what that is, LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. And here's a snippet from the keynote event explaining what the LiDAR scanner is. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it measures how long it takes light to reach an object and reflect back. We've adopted this technology for iPhone, and with the machine learning and depth frameworks of iOS 14, iPhone understands the world around you and builds a precise depth map of the scene. It enables object and room scanning, photo and video effects, and precise placement of AR objects. LiDAR makes iPhone 12 Pro a powerful device for delivering instant AR and unlocking endless opportunities in apps. The custom-designed LiDAR scanner puts advanced depth mapping technology in your pocket. You can now take a night mode portrait and unlock a new world of possibilities for augmented reality. In this video, I'm going to be covering my top five apps that utilize the LiDAR scanner. So let's jump straight in. Now, the first one is using Apple's stock app called Measure. So if you open this up, you can actually measure different things around your house or whatever it may be. And it gives you very accurate measurements of whatever you want to do. So if you don't have a measuring tape, this is really good. So for example, I've got this bench here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. There we go. Now that's telling me it's 91 centimeters. Now I want to see how accurate this is. So I've got a measuring tape and I'm going to measure that myself. It says 90, which is very, very close to what it says on the app. So I'm quite impressed. Let me just do one more example. Now I'll pick up the top of this fireplace. It's automatically detecting it. There we go, it says 96 centimeters. So let me go ahead and measure this. 96 centimeters exact. That is very impressive. So now if I don't have my measuring tape with me, I can be comfortable knowing that the measure app will give me at least 95% accuracy in my measurements. Okay, so the next one is IKEA Place. Now, if you're looking to get some new furniture, you can actually place some of that furniture in your room and your space to see what it would look like and you can reposition it. There's a lot of apps now doing this. You can even do this from the Amazon app on selected items, but I just think this is a really cool way to see if the furniture you want to buy fits with your room decor, the design, the color scheme. So in here, I'm just gonna go and browse a specific category, let's say armchairs. And it would allow me to just place something. So I'm gonna go for this one. Button on the right hand side. I can see where I would like to place it. So let me maybe put it down this side. There we go, that looks really cool. So you can move around, you can reposition yourself and that armchair will stay in that position at all times. And it looks so realistic as well, just to see if it would match your color scheme, if it matches the design that you're looking for, the size, and it should show you an accurate size as well for the furniture. So if I wanted to reposition it, I can lift it up, move it around, turn it, move it back, tick it, and then just drop it. Now this is really cool and you can just do this with a whole lot of furniture. So I can go back, I can add another chair. Let's see, I'll take this one. And I'll place that on this side. So now I have two pieces of furniture. This is really great. So definitely check this out and have a play around with it. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorite ones. It's called Canvas. Now, if you wanted to get a 3D rendering of your room, then this is a really good app to do it. And it's so accurate, it looks so cool. All you have to do is go in, start at the center of the room, and you need to scan each of the corners. So start hitting scan, it will initialize. And then literally, you just move your phone up and down while it detects all areas of your space. And just a reminder, you have to stay in the same spot. So 
So all you have to do is go up and down while it detects how the space will be generated. I've got a lot of junk everywhere as I'm still in the process of moving home and setting everything up. Once you go back to the original position you started at, it should then generate the entire room and you can see getting close to closing the loop. And there we go, hit done. Now this could take a minute or so, you'll be amazed at how it looks and just by standing in the same spot, I think it does an excellent job. There we go, look at that. That's my entire room. Obviously there's some bits at the back that were hidden behind the island, but for the most part, it gives you a great idea of what the room looks like. And of course, you can actually select some of the options on the left hand side, so enhanced scan, let's just take a look at that. You can move everything around in like a 3D point of view, which is really cool. This is like a dollhouse view. You've got like a floor plan view, really cool. And then you can even then go out and share this to whoever you'd like to and show them what the room looks like. So that's a really cool app that I recommend using for the LiDAR scanner. Next, there's one here called Magic Plan. Now this is great for contractors or builders that want to generate floor plans. If you're building a house or a property developer, you might want to get accurate measurements by getting a design a lot quicker than manually getting your measuring tape and doing every inch of the floor in each room of the house. This is a quick way to do it. So all I have to do is go ahead and click on new project, hit the plus, and then now I'm going to scan with the camera. So this will utilize the LiDAR scanner and I'll just call this my kitchen area. So the camera will load up. Okay, so I will just pick one corner. I don't need to tap anything. I need to point at the ceiling and it will give me indications with the green tick if I'm doing it accurately. So there it's picked up that side of the wall very cleanly. There we go. It's added that corner. So now if I go there, it's added another wall there. bifolding doors on there as well. Back to the starting point. And then hit done. So there you go. Not super accurate, but for the most part, it will give you a rough idea, especially if you wanted to get an indication of what the floor plan would look like. And it sets up the measurements for you. So if you are going to be selling your property and you wanted to get the measurements of every room in your house, this is a really quick and convenient way to do that. So play around with this one, check to see how accurate it is and to see if you can actually use it as an accurate way to sell your property. Okay, so last but not least, Holocam. Now this is just a fun one. So what this does is this displays different types of text or emojis or pictures, whatever you like in the air and it's very cool ways to just share it on your social media. So all you have to do is hit the plus button there at the bottom. So you've got some few options here. You've got a squiggle line, you've got the emojis, you've got text, and you've got photos from your gallery. So let's go ahead. Now, of course, there's a premium version that would unlock all of the different emojis that you can add in the air, but I'm just going to add a simple one like this, like that. I can move it around just by holding it, position it different places. I can get this to look a little bit different as well. If I hit the filter button, I can add some filters to it. I can add a bit of a shadow to it on the floor, increase the intensity of that. And then I can start recording. So I hit that big red button. It's now recording. 
and that emoji will stay in the same position wherever you go. And this is a really cool way to just share to your social media for a little bit of fun. You can walk through it and then you can come back and it will always be in that same position. Once you stop, you can then share this to wherever you'd like to. Now if I go back, I can actually add an animation by tapping on it and see what it looks like. So I can do bounce for example, and when you start recording, you will see that it will start bouncing. Let's go ahead and add some text. Let's go for a red one. There we go. And then I'm just gonna add maybe some lines in blue. I'll put that on this side. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Make sure you like this video and also make sure to subscribe for more other cool iPhone tutorials. So those are the top five apps that I've come across which are really good at utilizing the LiDAR scanner. Of course, there's a whole bunch of apps that do this and even on the topic of just a bit of fun, there's a lot of social media apps that are now utilizing augmented reality as well, especially Snapchat. It's doing a really good job at getting cool effects and there's some that you can have like flying birds around your living room as well so that's really cool so if there's anything else you guys want to know or if there's other apps you think you want to recommend to other users do go ahead and add a comment i'm interested to hear what other apps you've used using the lidar scanner and if you did like this video like i mentioned make sure to subscribe i've got really cool iphone tutorials coming out in the near future which i know you guys will find useful